Hey, what up guys? Welcome to the next summer of the King Game Season 10, Episode 5. In this episode, we're going to be playing um, Relinquish Level Gotham deck. Let's dive into the deck list, shall we? So guys, this is another variant of Relinquish deck featuring Level Gotham this time around. If you guys haven't seen my um, last episode where I feature Magical Exemplar, check it out. So this is another variant, guys. Um, I noticed uh, there's a lot of um, itching Gollum deck floating around right and I, I noticed uh, from experience from testing this deck out this deck really works really well against cyber I mean um itching gear Gollum deck so yeah this this deck counter itching gear deck so if you guys, seen, if you guys, guys are facing a lot of um, itching gear Gollum consider running relinquish deck anyway yeah this is another variant of playing relinquish deck featuring level Gollum the idea behind this deck is um you want to achieve two of your opponent monster, um, summon level golem, use Reliquist, suck it up, and then go for lethal, right, if you have enough um, damage. So that's the combo of this deck. Obviously, um, drawing into double golem is going really to be hard, right? That's why, preferably, you want to run um, Destiny Draw, with Yami Yugi character, right? But yeah, I'm trying, instead of I'm running um, Alexa Rose with Master Rights um, 2 skill instead, the reason I'm running that skill instead of Destiny Draw because, um, I want to take advantage of the Richard Cage field spell, I mean, no, continue spell so I can use it as a Stormfall to get rid of the back row. That's basically it. Obviously, you can run Destiny Draw as well if you guys want. Anyway, let me quickly go, go over the cards in this deck and why I chose them. So, obviously, since we're running Relinquish, you want to run 2 Relinquish, right? Or 3. I'm right here, I'm running 2 Relinquish. Um, earlier, I was running 3 copy of Relinquish and 3 copy of Black Asian Ritual. I decided to take um, one of each out in favor of two Sonic and Electro because um we only run like what two um Sonic Slanju and two Sonic Bird right we lack monsters so we lack the monster boards right so that's why I added um Sonic and Electro that's just what helped me um, lock on my opponent back row but again so if you guys want um you could add in third relinquish and third black illusion ritual if you guys want but instead I go for Sonic and Electro instead and since I'm not running um Three Sonic Bird and three Send You a Thousand Hands. Um, this deck is inconsistent, right? You, there's gonna be chance. There's gonna be time where you're gonna be break a lot. So if you guys wanna play this deck, you definitely wanna consider running three Sonic Bird and three Send You a Thousand Hands to make this deck more consistent, right? So we got that. The other I'm running is um, Speed Creebo. Speed Creebo is basically tell me um, stop attack. Plus, if you use this as a triple fodder from the Grave Up, really good. Is that, there's many plays you can do with this card, guys. I'm running two. If I have third copy, I'll definitely run third copy. It's such a good card. Instead of um, third speed creep, I'm running Willing Karibo instead. Willing Karibo is basically um, speed creep, but instead of activating from your hand, you can activate from your graveyard, right? In that sense. And plus, if you tribute this card, you get to draw a card, so it's not really uh, minus, so right? you get. It's pretty, pretty much balanced it out, right? You get the card back. Okay, this is a very good card guys. I want many matches because of this card. Look at the look at the name of the card, Relinquishable. This card is made for Relinquish, right? So might as well use it in the Relinquish deck. It's a really card, good card guys. This is the reward um level up reward you get you get from um Yugi Mode, I believe. I believe at level 40 I believe you get this card. So we gotta grind that character to get this card. So you guys yeah, this is a very good card in this deck. So I'm using this card in place of the third speed creeper, right? Here I'm running 3 enemy controllers since a side main deck is, is throwing around so you want to use this to counter, right? And I'm very first deck card. Here I'm running 2 storm instead of 1 storm um, because of um, 2 for consistency, right? Occasionally you really want to join into this to get rid of your opponent back row and this will help me get rid of my opponent back row so I can get my attack get through successfully really good. Occasionally I will join to 2 storm instead and you don't want that but yeah if you guys want, you can run the one storm instead, instead of two. And since we're running the massive right two skill, we, we can use that um, continuous spell as a storm fodder, right? So we can get rid of two spell and trap card from our opponent field, really good. Two black legend ritual. And lastly, winston tackle. The reason I'm running winston tackle is because um, there's gonna be cases where um, we need to start for a couple of turns, and winston tackle does to do that. So really good, guys. So yeah, this is from the deck guys, um, yeah, like I was saying before, I was running uh, 3 Relinquish and 3 Black Lucian Ritual before, but I decided to take um, one of each out for Sergeant Electro, 
So yeah, this is pretty much that guys. Um, yeah, let me show you guys the couple of duo play with this deck to show you guys what this deck is capable of. After I show you guys duo play, I'll go live straight to live duo and hopefully I can get in some live duo as well. If I have the time. Let me show you guys the first duo of this deck. So yeah, the first duo, um, I made a quite a misplay in this um, game. So I'll show you guys what I mean. I believe this was the first duo with this deck. So I wasn't familiar with this deck. So I'll show you what what the misplay I've done. So you guys learn from my mistakes. Here I'm playing a uh, Saddle Kaiba. Here I'm playing this Heavy Star Order. Basically, you have three different known high level monsters in your hand. You get to draw. At least one of them, right? That's what Heavy Star does. Yeah, open up a level garden, very good. Yeah, you saw Bird, search out um, Black Illusion Ritual. I believe it's a set. Yep, a set. We have Takwa. We have Spirit Creeper for protection. Seems pretty good. Here, I'm gonna pull it, activate Stray Lambs. I'm guessing that Face Out Guard is um, Blue Eyed White Dragon. Here, um, I did a misplay. I shouldn't have attacked into his monster. The reason I attack into his monster is because I want it to be face up. So I, when I use relinquish and suck it up, I could go for attack, right? Instead of face down, it would be zero attack and zero defense, right? So I rather um, make it face up. That's what I did, guys. I shouldn't go for attack because like I know that that card is probably um, blue eyed white dragon, and I predicted correctly. It is blue eyed white dragon, so I took 1100 damage. Okay, my opponent summon second monster. This is pretty good, guys. Since we have level guard, we can treat with both of his monsters off, right? Here, here I use Winston of Taco to protect my monster. So, this is why I'm running Winston of Taco to protect from one of um, two monsters on the field, right? Here, I off his monster to take a thousand damage. Here, I have Spirit Creeble to protect it. Here, I set Blink Creeble. The reason I said Renan Kubo because I don't want to him to KO me in one turn, right? So that's why I want to be play safe. Here, yeah, I summon um, Sanju. Search out Relinquish here. Watch the misplay, guys. This is the misplay you're going to see. Here, yeah, I summon Sanju. I use Black Legion Ritual. I decided to take control of his arm. Here, I activate Renan Kubo. So if you get tribute, you get to draw a card so he, he, you can see the misplay right I shouldn't have act, um, taken control of his totem dragon what I should have done was take control of his um level golem and then um use send you a thousand hand attacking to total dragon and then go for attack right that's what I should have done but yeah, as you can tell this is a misplay because like I was thinking that I could activate relinquish effect more than one turn right but unfortunately, that's not how it works. You can only activate a relinquish uh, effect once per turn. That was a misplay right there, guys. I could have go for game in this turn, but I, I couldn't. So, guys, I couldn't suck the relinquish monster. But that, that doesn't matter, guys. I have a spirit creeper to protect it. So, next turn, he's gonna lose. It doesn't make much of a difference. Here's some defense position. I don't think I suck his. Yep, I didn't suck level golem. Yeah, this is back row. Here you activate Kid Mode Dragon. It doesn't make much of a difference because he's gonna take a thousand damage. So as you can tell, I could have easily won that do the previous turn if I did the correct play. But yeah, I'm kind of misplayed because this is the first duel with the stack, so I'm still learning how the stack works. So as yeah, like I haven't played Relinquish deck in a while, so I've completely forgot you can only activate Relinquish effect once per turn. So keep that in mind, guys. Don't make the same mistake as me. Here, let me show you guys the second duel. So guys, that this deck, um, counter injury gear deck, pretty much uh, fairly well with this deck, based on my um, experience. Here, I'm placing another set of Kaiba deck. We're going first. Peak performance. Massive right. This is pretty decent open hand guys, we have um, Spirit Creeble, enemy control to help protect it. Here I'm opening summon in attack position. I don't know why but whenever people see um, I'm using Alexa Rhodes character and Richard Cage, people immediately think that I'm running um, was a Cyber Angel deck, right? So people are afraid to summon any monster. 
Here a second Kimoto dragon. I was assuming it's Kimoto, so that's what I did. Yeah, my opponent did not attack because um, if you attack, you only destroy Kimoto. Here I tribute my Belenko Rebo. You don't need to um tribute with your Belenko, you can still tribute using Elim Control to take advantage of his attack. Here you Storm to get rid of his back row. Here my opponent did a misplay. He shouldn't have activated Kimoto Dragon. So like he mindlessly activated Kimoto Dragon attack. So that was his downfall guys. I have enough um, damage to deal with him lethal. That's what I did guys. So yeah, my opponent misplay right there. I went for game, good game. So that, yeah, as you can tell, Storm came in clutch for us guys. So as you can tell, running two Storm, there's gonna be cases where you're gonna draw two Storm in your hand. And you don't want that. Preferably you only wanna uh, draw into one, but the reason I have two is for consistency, right? You may consider running only one storm if you guys want. All these do we play, um, I was using three relinquish and three black ritual spell cards. So keep that in mind, guys. So all of these, uh, all of these um, do we play? I was playing with three relinquish, three ritual spell, and no sergeant Electro. I believe last two I used sergeant Electro. I'm not quite sure. I believe one of the do we play I, I use sergeant Electro. Okay, activate Sandra Thousand Hand. Get. Get out my relinquish from the deck, then on my deck. We have Spirit Preble to protect my monster. So like I was saying guys, this deck counter um Injured Gear deck real hard. Since Injured Gear deck lacks um back row support, right? So it's gonna be hard for them to deal against Relinquish um second effect. Here I use Relinquish to suck up his monster. So we have it take six of the lap on damage. So this is pretty much a game. The only way that's gonna save him is if you have Speed Preble. And majority of Integrate run at least one Speed Preble, right? Okay, he doesn't have Speed Preble, good game. So that's pretty much one turn KO, right? As you can tell, this deck um, pretty much counters Integrate deck. So we may see a uh, rise in Relinquish deck if um, Integrate Garm deck become much popular. Let me show you guys the fourth two, I believe. So guys, like I said earlier in the last ep episode of my Road to Kingdom series, um, I said I was going to bring you guys the Ancient Gear deck, right? Um, I changed my mind because um, I want to try out the new um, tech card, the Transmodify that you get as a PvP rewards card. I want to try that card in the Ancient Gear deck, so that's why I'm holding off and bringing you guys that deck. I want to test out that card in the Ancient Gear deck to see how it does. So basically what Transmodify um, does is um, you could it's basically a monster morph in a card form, right? Monster morph skill in a card form, basically. You can special summon uh, a monster that has the same attribute and type. And but it's one level high, right? From the deck or graveyard, I believe. Yeah, you storm to give his back row. Here I'm opponent playing a red eyes. I knew that one of them has to be red eyes spirit, right? Since he sent um red eyes zombie dragon from his deck to graveyard. Luckily I chose the correct um spell and trap to destroy using my storm. Get my opponent attacking my monster. Here yeah, I set my Brilliant Recruitable in defense position. This is why I'm running um with some Takwa because it helped me protect my monster right from more than one attack and since my opponent have three monsters on the field one enemy control will not do anything here, use Winston Takwa to protect my monster. Here, I set Black Illusion. I just mainly use that as a bluff card. Here, I tribute my Relinquibo. Take control of his monster. I know that set card is um, Red Eye Spirit because he recently activated Red Eye Inside, right? So I knew that card is Red Eye Spirit. He attack. Here, we have our Relinquibo in our graveyard, so it will help me protect, stop one attack. Black Creeper is basically Bacon Saver in, in a sense. Okay, I'm I let it destroy so I could. And here I use Villain Creeper to stop his attack. Good game. So uh, at this point, my opponent can't do anything, guys. Basically, he just surrender. Good game. So you guys have this deck. Can go 2 2 against um, Red Eyes deck as well. I haven't seen that many um, Red Eyes zombie deck lately. I believe 
it got hit pretty hard because of the recent announcement of the Red Spirit nerf, right? And plus, because of the introduction of a wall destruct yeah, destruction, it's not as good anymore, right? Because it got significantly hit hard because of that card, that um, that trap card, wall destruction. Since um, one the advantage of using Red Eye Zombie deck is to swarm the field, right? And wall destruction pretty much um, like screw them over. Yeah, I'm facing a Paradox Brother. I believe this is one of the duos where I use Charging Lateral. The rest of the duo I use 3 Relinquish and 3 um, Black Ritual Legion spell card. Here I use Sonic Bird. Switch out my Relin my spell card. Here I use Black Legion Ritual. Here I did a misplay guys. I completely forgot that you can't take control of Horus Black Flame Dragon level 4. I completely forgot about that. Keep in mind that when you're facing against some um, Horus deck, you can use Econ Take or Relinquish to suck up his monster, right? But you could take control of their other um, Horus monster level 6, I believe. You could take control of it using your Relinquish, right? Keep that in mind. Here's I did a misplay. Yeah, use Relinquish Creep Effect, get out. So, as that, I completely forgot that Relinquish Effect does not work. Against some um, horse level four. Here, my opponent used level up to get out. It's um level six, I believe. Yep. Yeah, use Winston Taco. Like I was saying, guys, Winston Taco is such a good card in this deck. It helped me protect more than one attack, right? So, like I was saying, guys, Relinquish work on level six, but does not work on level four. Keep that in mind when you're facing, when you're using Relinquish deck. Here, I go for attack. Um, thinking that. That back row is nothing, so I could do enough damage. He only have a thousand damage, but what do I know, guys? He's actually running Wall of Disruption. This is the card that screwed me over, guys. If I knew that that set card was Wall of Disruption, I would have attacked, and I would still have um, in my on my field, right? That was a misplay right there, guys. I shouldn't have done that. Anyway, let's continue. I use Speed Creebo here. I gotta hope I can top deck um, Relinquish, which I didn't. Here I'm hoping that he summons second monster so I can be level gone, which I did, guys. So we pretty much won this duel, guys. Here, here, um, I think I, I believe I have Relinqu Creebo in my graveyard, right? So here, I decided if I should let him uh, destroy my monster or use Relinqu Creebo to save it. I decided to, here, my opponent locked my back row and decided to activate enemy controller. For the sake of it, I don't want to do any damage. Here, I let it get destroyed. The reason I let him destroy my monster is because I have Willing Creeper in my graveyard, so I could um, stop it one of his attack. So that's what I did. And plus, we have 4,000 life points, so even if he floodgate the log on, we still pretty good. I know that card is not floodgate um, because um, when I when he attacked me with monster, there was a delay, right? And that delay can be floodgate, right? So I knew that set card is not floodgate, so. That's why I let my opponent destroy my Sonic Bird, so I could summon um, level golem but don't have to worry about getting floodgated. So yeah, that's what I did. And plus, if that card were like happened to be enemy controller, um, that'd be bad for us because he could econ take my Sonic Bird by tributing level golem, right? So that's why that's why I let it, him destroy my Sonic Bird as well. So this two scenario right there, guys. So guys, all I need to do is get out level bottom and pretty much win. Here, like I was saying guys, I was using Charging Lecture version of the deck. Okay, game. So guys, you gotta read what kind of card you're gonna set. Because uh, when he was attacking uh, my monster, there was a delay, right? So I knew it wasn't a floodgate, so I don't have to worry about my level bottom getting floodgated. It's so, a okay, game. So guys, uh, those are all the duo play guys. Let me go and show you guys a couple of lab duo. So yeah, I managed to win 5 more with this deck guys, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yeah, this deck is pretty good guys. The like, majority deck I came across are um, interview decks, and that deck is very, very um, favorable matchup for Relinquish player. Hopefully I have time for one duel. Five. I believe 
I believe we're gonna rank up the legend. I believe this is due. Nope. When did he get rank? Oh, he's rank. He's ranking up to legend. Let's stop that from happening, shall we? Okay, I'm playing massive right. People immediately think that I'm running Cyber Angel deck by using this um, spell card, right? And with Alexis Rose. Oh, Red Eye Zombie deck. People are still playing this deck. Ever since the um, introduction of War of Disruption, Red Eye Zombie deck got pre hit pretty hard. Okay, what should I summon? Should I summon this or this? Since I already have two Black Illusion Ritual, let's use this instead. Let's search out. Relinquish. So guys, I'm already running on um, two copy of Relinquish and Black Illusion Ritual. Earlier, I was running um, three copy of each. Some this. Hmm. Let's um ditch this. Let's suck up his monster. Is gonna you can't take? Yep. Very smart of him. That's okay guys, we have second um relinquish in our hand. And I'll I should probably set this, should I set this? Yeah, I should probably set this. Use it as a bluff, right? Hopefully he doesn't storm away our back row. And because of the Richard Cage, we don't take any damage, right? That's one cool thing about Richard Cage. Call the mommy. Very interesting. Does he have... Okay, I thought it was the other card. The le okay, we're going to take 7. Ooh. Ear blood. Wow. Is this game? Wow, are you kidding me, yo? Yo, this is an interesting deck, guys. I may consider bringing guys this version of the Red Eyes deck. Well, he's not even running Red Eyes, he's running a zombie deck. Wow. This guy literally opened up a not open hand guys, this guy. And plus we didn't even open up with um, any backward support card. Pretty unfortunate guys. It's because let me take the L. Hope we have time for one more duel guys. Yo that was a pretty interesting deck guys. The Zombie Kazuki deck, that was a pretty interesting deck. I may consider bringing us that deck, but I'm still missing um three copy of Mommy, Call of the Mommy, and what's the other card I'm missing? And Birthright. I don't have those cards, so I can only bring us a budget version. I'm facing Yugi. I'm going first. Here we're facing Maker Tsunami. Summon this in attack position. The reason I summon in attack position because um even if he use enemy control, I can switch it back into attack position. 400, 1400 attack is pretty low, guys, because of the Umi. We here he's gonna be afraid to set cards, right? Because of the Sergeant Electro. This is the Creebo. 1200 deep defense, that's okay. This is what we should do guys, we should um, set this. Econ take. His monster. And plus I get to draw a card, right? There we go. Hope we can join to a good card. Sweet. Um. 
Let's use such an electro effect. Let's lock on this. Reactivate the controller. It doesn't do anything, guys. I could still switch back. Switch back and attack. Set this, use this as a bluff. This is the second limb controller. Or oh, mail wall, interesting. He's pretty desperate at this point. Is he gonna pay for it? Here I'm using our um, Black Legion Witcher as a bluff, right? If I didn't set it, he's probably not going to activate what mail wall. Here I could use um, Willing Kuribo to protect it, which I'm going to do. That's one of the cool things about Willing Kuribo, guys. Hoping we can dub deck um, Sonic Bird or Witcher Spell. Oh wait, we would have Witcher Spell, I forgot about that. I forgot that we have Black Illusion. Okay, um, do we have Creeper now, Grey Boy? Yes, we do. Okay. Let's activate this. That's um. Hey guys, so unfortunately the video was cut off when I went about to win the duel. So guys, let's continue where we left off, guys. So um, so yeah, this is where the video got cut off. Here, I check my Grey Boy. I happen to have Sweet Creeper. This is good. I decided to get out Relinquish, suck up his monster, I decided to suck up Inventorious, summon, send a thousand hand, he yeah, go for attack, so this is basically a game, so the only way that's going to save him is that set card is, um, has over 1800, I mean, yeah, 1800 defense, then good game, or oh, he has Spear Creebo, he yeah, attack, and here he uses Spear Creebo, I wasn't even expecting that, who even runs Spear Creebo in a Mako deck? He attack using my Sandrew. Here he's using Gale Laser, another card that I wasn't expecting. Here he set a card and set a monster. Here um I was hoping I can top deck um Storm, right? I was telling myself like part of the cards, um let's top deck Storm. And what do you guys know though? I top deck card Storm, I get rid of his back row, and that's good game. I suck up his monster. Some of my Sanju, and that's basically game, guys. This is why my two storm for consistency. So, guys, yeah, part of the card came clutch for us, guys. So, so guys, yeah, this deck is pretty good. This deck um, does pretty well on the uh, against uh, Ancient Gear Gun deck. So, guys, yeah, ever, ever since um, Ancient Gear got added to the game, um, people are starting using Ancient Gear Gun, right? And uh, based on my experience, um, Relinquish deck works. Um, one day against into good decks if they lack back row support. So guys, yeah, um, yeah, I'm gonna end it here, you guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys enjoyed, it, give it a thumbs up and share. If you guys want to see it, subscribe to my channel. Share it, bring us some videos when I can. So guys, yeah, um, I believe the next box is coming out tomorrow, right? Hope I can bring us um, into good gun deck just before that. Um, I really want to try out the new um spell card trend modify to see how that card does um in the into gear deck. So guys, yeah, um. I'm gonna end the video, guys. Until next time. Later.